Okay, so some of the breaking news that has only just come out is the PFL announcing the signing of uh, former Glory kickboxing champ turned MMA fighter Cedric Dumbe, um, who has been rumoured to be in talks with with the UFC and and Bellator and everyone else in between for I mean for the past year really yeah um and it for whatever reason the UFC lowballed him and um he's ended up signing for the PFL yeah i mean they probably even they i mean they offered him 20 and 20 so 20 win uh 20 show yeah. and they probably won't even think that's that's lowballing because uh they have a mono- complete monopoly on the sport but yeah. listen cedric dumbe is a is a great talent it's like i think they're always they always talk about stars and stuff like this it, this guy he can talk he's fly, he's pretty funny he's good on social media and he is a fantastic kickboxer and he'll knock you out so it's like I don't know what. It just makes no sense to me why you'd pass this guy up. One hundred and forty grand to fight at PFL. Yeah, that's a lot. But I bet if you offered him, you know, just I don't know, I don't know how much. But you don't even need, maybe need to offer them the full one hundred and forty. You can give him incentives. What they could do forty and forty, and yeah. I reckon he would have gone. That's what they pay Yasmin Yaraguay, I think you know the Brazilian Mex- or no Mexican, Mexican. mass. Yeah. Yeah, and, um, it, and she was a willing, combate champion, and they offered a fourteen forty. You've almost wow. got a guaranteed top fifteen, top top ten went away. This is like yeah. the talent this guy has now. He's had yeah. four fight, and it's like, man, if you don't like the UFC is just ringing it in at the moment with these main events and the cards and all this stuff, and yeah. then you pass up guys like this, like maybe the PFL money will run out, but maybe it won't. And maybe the Europe thing they're going to do is, is we're going to come a, a bigger thing and all this. And they start. I mean, to he can of... be a star in Europe. He really, really could be like, yeah. that is considering they're doing the laps around Europe right now, signing guys like him, that is a hundred percent the move to make. Yeah. It's a big move for them. And it's like it, they, that scene is a win for PFL over, over the UFC, but they're building their own roster of, of, of talent. And they've obviously got Jake Paul, um, and mm. they've, you know, been in talks with. They've been rumored to Francis and Ganu for. Yeah, they seem like the front runners or whatever. So, um, yeah, that is that is massive though. It, it, if PFL get Cedric Dumbay and Francis and Ganu in the space of a month or two, that is insane. Huge. That's huge. Like those guys, they're. I mean, they're outpacing Bellator at this point. They are, in my mind, the number two. I yeah. guess one maybe have a shout considering the expansion they're doing to America and whatnot. We'll see yeah. how that plays out. But you know, I, I, I and also the the thing with one for me is the ease of watching this because they you can just go onto YouTube and watch it. Yeah. But for us in the UK, yeah. But um, if it weren't for that, I think the PFL they're the ones that you know their events. I I try to stay up and watch them. You know, they're they're big events, or and they yeah. have UK and European events. It's yeah, they're they're they're. I don't know if you say catching up with the UFC, but they're outpacing their competitors at least. I think. Well, they're these, making a these... they're making a fair go of it at least. Yeah. If they get Francis and Ganu, they'll have they'll have arguably the best prospect in MMA or you know whatever you want to call Dumbay. Um, yeah. And then they'll have the best heavyweight in the world, and like I don't really like the UFC need to make more of an effort. I mean, Jesus, yeah. we're we're breaking we're looking at the cards they've got coming up. It's an absolute joke. The level that you the UFC used to be at, and like mm. you that oh god, you just think recently like over the like since the apex, it's just just really yeah. poor. And it's like if anything happened, you can't blame you can only blame the UFC. Mm. You know what I mean? Like they're happy to be where they're at now because they have such control over the sport. It's like yeah, I I do wonder if that complacency is gonna come to a point where they finally. I don't know, because I, I feel like they're very much looking at the immediate picture, whereas all these other promotions around them yeah. are looking at the future. They're investing in the future. Um, yeah, I, I I suppose the thing is, like, promotions like PFL tend to have one or two standout fighters per division, whereas UFC tend to have, you know... More depth, eight, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, I mean, yeah, the fact that... Uh, we were saying this all before... 
uh, Roberto Soldic. They, the, the UFC really should have picked him up because there was like an inbuilt rivalry with Drikas Duplessis. Um, and he had, you know, a, a big name on the European side. Obviously, he's coming off a loss over at one. But it, it they was still missed out the, on him. They still missed yeah, out on him before. It was the negotiations. Like, they, they, they could have got him. But one outpriced them. Um, hell, even I, I mean, I don't know if the UFC were ever in talks with him, but Mansoor Barnui over at Bellator as well. Like he's a brilliant, brilliant fighter, really, really good. Um, and to be honest, as far as I know, he was never even talks with the UFC. Bellator just snapped him up. Like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I guess they're just happy, like slowly rolling in fighters from the contender series, and you know some of them are starting to fight for titles now. So I guess that's validation enough for them to, to continue with this process they've got going. But I don't know. It, yeah, it's, it's it's getting harder and harder to be a fan of the UFC. I think. Yeah, definitely. I just think like just the way they conduct business, it just shows that they don't really care um, about. Yeah. What I will about the fans and what we want, you know, um, just feels like we're not really being listened to and and all this kind of stuff. And you, but listen, competition is always good because if if PFL stop up in their game and and one start up in their game, particularly in America, you probably will yeah. see the UFC trying to try more, and that means more good fights for us. So yeah, you want when you see. Like if you're a UFC fan, fair enough. But if you see the, you know, the Bellator, um, PFL, support them, watch them, because it's like mm. it, it grows the sport as a whole. And you might not see it now, like individually, because you're so close looking at it. But as a whole, over time, the sport becomes bigger, the products become better, uh, yeah. and the fighters, you know, the fights we get uh, ultimately become become better as well.